right, guys. We just got to Carowinds. Woo! Labor Day weekend trip. We're here for Labor Day weekend. It's a, uh, what, what, what day is it? Saturday? Saturday. It's Saturday. Uh, it's probably going to be pretty busy, I think, but we'll see. Um, we just parked. We're walking up now. There's a car behind me. We'll see you inside. All right, so we're officially in Carowinds now. They're uh, turning into Scarowinds, so there's a bunch of pumpkins. They're really cute. Yeah, they are very cute. Um, so we're very hungry, so we're going to go get some food. Um, and then after that, we're going to ride a couple of rides and then go to the water park, I think, because it's really it's hot. It's really hot. So, and that closes at 5. So we want to go there for a little bit, but we're going to get food, do some rides, and then water park. We'll see you at the, the food place. Alright Abby, final thoughts on Blue Ridge Country Kitchen. This is not good. The chicken had like a plasticky taste. The blueberries were good, but like it's too much blueberries. Like I need like a crust or something, a crumble on top. Yeah. Overall, not gonna come back here. Yeah, it was not that great. It was a good thing I was hungry because otherwise. Those fries suck. From the fries. They came out fresh. They were like fresh fries. They were literally cold. Yeah. Very weird. All right, let's go do some rides. Okay, so just real quick, um, there are some coasters that we forgot to like record our reactions to and kind of give feedback on. So in this video, we're gonna kind of put B-roll over um, and then kind of just talk to those coasters and give our reactions to those coasters yeah. just kind of over voiceover. It, so. There were not a lot of bins at this park, so we had to rely on like keeping our stuff in lockers in that kind of affected our vlogging situation. The first coaster that we rode was Copperhead Strike. Yeah, it's a multi-launch coaster that focuses on hang time. Um, I really love those pop out of your seat moments on this coaster, it was awesome. One thing that it definitely missed for me is speed. I think it would have been a lot better and I would have liked it more if it was faster. We just got off of Afterburn. It's a B&M invert, mm -hmm. so it's like the Raptor at Zero Point. It was really, really fast. It was Very fast. fun. Yeah. Um, I think that I like the Raptor better still. It was like a little bit more jerky, like, and there were some like head banging moments that really got me. Yeah, no, I, I think it was really good. Like Abby said, it was really fast, and that was it was a lot of fun. But yeah, it was a little jerky, and I don't know. I don't know if it's just hometown bias, but I like no, and it's not as long as the Raptor either. That's true. It was a shorter ride. And I think I a little, really liked... maybe a couple less inverts too. Yeah, but there were a couple tunnels, so that was cool. Yeah. One cool thing about this park is it had a sky tower, so we were able to get a lot of footage from it. Yeah, right here in yellow, you can see Nighthawk. This is a flying coaster. Really cool. Um, just had a long line. Yeah. Yeah. Our next coaster was the big one, Fury 325. We were super excited to get on this. Um, our first ride, honestly, I was not impressed. I think I hyped it up like way too much in my mind. And so I did not enjoy like the ending, like the last one quarter of the ride. Yeah, it was crazy. I think after our first ride, Abby and I kind of looked at each other and we were like, wait, was it not actually that good? Um, but we got more rides on it later in the day and the next day um, and for me it really started to step it up I mean it's a 325 foot coaster. It's so fast. It's so long. It was really awesome Yeah, the the speed is crazy. I just wish It like slammed into the final break run. I didn't like how it kind of slowed down yeah, at, at the, the end, end It just died out just yeah, a but I mean it's an incredible roller coaster. It's beautiful um Super, super fun. Definitely worth going to Killer Winds for, I would say. Like, if this is the only thing you're going for, it's worth it. Oh, yeah, absolutely.
All right, so after Fury, we went over to Vortex. Um, this is a standing coaster. I was super excited to get on this because I kind of miss having the Mantis at Cedar Point, but it was just about as uncomfortable as I remember. Um, no, it was painful. It was, it was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I kind of This is just a vlog interlude. So we were about to go on Gold Rush. It's like the, the mine ride. We were in line and then it got shut down. We were like, oh, what happened, what happened? And we weren't really sure, so we left. But we were just like sitting outside and then all of a sudden security started showing up and like more people started circling off the train. And we're not really sure what happened, but Abby's like listening in on a family that just got off. She's like walking around them to try and figure out <laughs> what's happening. <laughs> We're just sitting here watching, trying to figure out what happened. Um, but they brought over so much security. There's like six, seven, like actual like security guards. Yeah, I'll keep you updated. It'll be interesting to see Abby's literally just lurking around this family. It's so funny. <laughs> Should we vlog it too right now? Are you recording right now? All right, here he goes. The Carowinds three point right, game. Three, two, one. He's starting in the opposite place that they normally have it, like at other parts. So we'll see if he messes them up. Money ball for three points. No good. He means. I want to say four points to get like a bullet bill. So I think no one's going to do it. Third shot in for two points. Money ball for four points is no good. So I'm going to try to get two points. Let's see if it happens. Third shot's no good. No matter what, you get the power in. Yay! Whoa, Abby. Are you in North Carolina or South Carolina, bro? The final ride for day one was a night ride on Intimidator. This is a B&M hyper coaster. Yeah, this was a really fun ride at night. Um, lots of nice airtime pops, um, just up and down, up and down on the hills. It, it was really fun. Yeah, the theming is to Dale Earnhardt, the Intimidator, and that was really cool. They like have a whole plaza for him. It's honestly kind of sick. One of the newer additions to Carowinds is this area called Aeronautical Landing. It's super, super well themed, like technology, aerospace kind of vibes. Yeah, I absolutely love the theming here and the supporting rides around it were great. Um, lots of lots of floor rides, um, lots of great stuff there. It's a really fun environment. Yeah, you. the theming is just crazy. I know that Cedar Fair is like trying to go more towards this kind of theming and I think it works really really well. This is a great stepping stone to making Cedar Fair Parks more fun. Alright, the last coaster we hit uh, was the Carolina Gold Rusher. Finally got on this ride even after the fiasco from yesterday. Um, it's their mine ride. It is honestly fun. I mean, compared to the Cedar Creek mine ride at Cedar Point, I feel like this is like a legitimate attraction. Yeah, and the cars look great. They were new and kind of newly themed and they looked awesome. Yeah, it was very fun. Um, a pretty standard mine train, but I thought it was like just a little bit nicer. All right, and that wraps up our two-day trip to Carowinds. Um, overall, absolutely love this park. It was so much fun. It was super, super charming. Um, we also made it onto Hurler. We just didn't have our phones for videos, and we did go to the water park, which was cute. Um, a lot of the rides were closed at the water park, but that's okay. Yeah, Fury 325 is worth the price of admission. This ride is so much fun, especially at night. They just, that, those trains go.
Me personally, I also love Copperhead Strike. So much hang time on that ride, it was really fun. Yeah, if you are near the area, I would definitely make a trip. It is well, well worth it.